Okay, here we have problem uh, 1.6, solving an absolute value equation, problem type one. So really the steps for absolute value problem is one, you have to isolate the absolute value. Once you've isolated the absolute value and you have it in this form, where a is equal to a number and you can be a variable or a variable expression, okay? Um, if you have, once you get the bars all by themselves, so there's nothing being added or subtracted, and there's nothing being multiplied or divided, um, then this becomes two separate equations. It becomes u without the bars equal to a, or u equal to negative a, right? Because in order for what is in here to turn out to equal this, that means that in here needed to be the positive value of this or it needed to be the negative value of this. Now this is only true for a greater than zero. So if a is positive, then you do this. However, for a equal to zero, there's no such thing as positive and negative. So then you would literally just take what's on the inside and set it equal to, well, it would be zero then, right? And then you would solve for that variable or that a variable expression, okay? And then the last case is for if a is less than zero. So for a less than zero, you get um, no solution because the absolute value will always come out positive, it will never come out negative, right? So that's why this one would be no solution. So let's go ahead and take a look here and see what case we end up with. We cannot determine what case it is until the absolute value bar is all by itself. Because if you look at this right now, it has a negative 13 over here. And if you try to draw your conclusion too early, you may see oh, this has no solution because there's a negative 13 over there. But if I isolate the absolute value of V, I end up with a positive five on the right-hand side. And now it's not this case where that A is less than zero because five is actually a positive number, okay? So then I get two equations. I get V without the bars equal five, or v without the bars equal to negative five. And since v is already by itself, there's nothing left to do. So the two answers you get here are five and negative five. Now let's look at the second example. So here I would have to get the bars by itself. I would have to divide both sides by negative two, since that two right next to the bar means multiplication. So I do the opposite, which is divide. But zero divided by anything is still zero. And so now this is the middle case. I'm not gonna have a plus zero and a minus zero because that doesn't make any sense. So you just take what's inside the bars equal to zero and that's it. And since there's nothing to solve here, zero is already, I mean W is already isolated. There's just one answer and that answer is zero. Now for the last case, if I take this 20 and minus it over, to get rid of that, I end up with a negative six, and we know that the absolute value can never equal a negative number. So in this case, it would be no solution.